former president of uh, Facebook, last week went public. Uh, the head of Sun Microsystems, worth tens of billions of dollars, co-owner, Bill Joy, countless others have said, we designed this to hurt you. We designed this to dehumanize you. We designed this to make you obsolete. We've been in meetings with the top billionaires who are senior to us, and they've made the decision to basically take over and kill everybody. Now, they've been developing this one world religion around eternal life and life extension. I made a film. I made a film, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. Ten years ago, off their admissions then of how they would bring in this plan, the controlled cities, the self-driving cars, the attack on the family. It's all in the film. It's free. You must watch it. If you remember my film that I made called Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement, it was seen more than 80 million times on Google Video. They then retired Google Video and deleted the video. It's been seen only 10 million times or so on YouTube. And I, I made the film. It cost me about a half million dollars. Shot all over the world with our crew at Istanbul, Turkey, Ottawa, Canada, you name it. It's a three and a half hour film total. This has got an hour long addendum. And in the film, I show you quotes and statements by top futurists and scientists across the board saying the decision has been made to establish a world government and then to carry out the poisoning and dumbing down of the public, then the banning of all religion, but one religion, the worship of AI computers and the worship of world government and the worship of transcending male and female. It's going to be against the law to be male or female. By the way, it's, it's in the news today uh, that if you don't, in California, they arrest you if you don't use GZ or whatever these weird pronouns are for men that want to be women or women that want to be men, whatever. Uh, you got to use their language. You're hateful. We're going to arrest you. Now in Minnesota, they sent the police to a radio station because someone said tranny. It's not a dirty word. It's not illegal. It was a word created by that community. Facebook this year said it was hateful to practice banning whatever words they want. It's tied into Soros, all of it. I'm going to break it down here in just a moment. But this isn't a joke. And, and, and if you're tuning into this, you say, this sounds crazy. It is crazy. But if you ever wanted to know what the one world religion, world government would look like, I actually went and read what the top futurist at, at Google and that's really the NSA and the CIA slash private corporate interfaces and what the people at Microsoft and the folks at the UN and UNESCO said. This is their long-term transhumanist future plan. And it's, 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 it's been decided. So you'll notice, you see that film from 10 years ago, 2007. Word for word, it broke in the last week in Wired and The Guardian and The New York Times, breathlessly, like it's the coolest thing, and they're giving you the absolute information that no one else has got, that there's a new religion that top Google executives and others practice where superstition will be outlawed. Don't worry. All those other fake religions, they say, are outlawed, and th these men didn't believe in God. They're atheists, but they're God. They're going to merge with AI. They're going to manage you. And they just came up with this this week. See, they're now at the coming out phase. And if you're a radio listener, my crew is putting articles on screen, word for word, what I told you 10 years ago in end game, blueprint for global enslavement. You need to download it. You need to save it. Because they're, they're starting to purge our stuff across the web. In the future, you'll tell people you saw it or heard it, and they won't believe you. We've got it all. You, you want to see prophetic, watch it. But it's not prophetic. They were saying it then, but in white papers. DARPA, in 1977, has a plan to, at birth, put you in like a tank where you power the machines, and it's this, and you go, well, that's the Matrix. No, that's one plan from DARPA, declassified in 2000. They reclassified it in 2001. You're like, that sounds insane. I know, I'm not the one saying it. We'll never fight again, though, and the master controllers will program it. They won't control your soul. 
You've got a soul, folks. They want to have you be born into a false system so they can totally control you and you never know. Now, here it is. This is the Daily Star. This is the Daily Mail. This is the London Guardian. This is the New York Times. Inside the chilling religion created, inside the chilling religion creating the God robot, a billion times smarter than humans. And it goes on to say, outlining the beliefs of the new church, the way of the future, the way of the future, outlaws supernatural powers. Oh, don't worry, that's all outlawed. And the other religions claiming everything can be solved through science. Inside the chilling religion, creating God robot, close quote, a billion times smarter than humans. And listen to what he says here. Google engineer who has created the first church of AI says he's in the process of raising a robot God that will take charge of humans. And just like Bill Gates, just like Schmidt, all of them, they're all DARPA people, just like Bezos. Look up to Bezos and his dad and the rest of his family, total DARPA front, CIA, it's all declassified. They don't even care. They create it, they test it in laboratories, they roll it out against you. And then they have, oh, he's now no longer with Google. He's setting up this church, though. So they go, oh, it's our young, smart engineer. He's going to be cool and trendy. He's going to run it. And they always have the young engineer that goes out and becomes the cool, trendy, young whiz kid of their new tentacle they shoot out. Bill Gates' dad was Army Intelligence, head of Planned Parenthood, Cold Springs Harbor, genetic engineering. That's what Bill Gates is into. So go read it for yourself. His name is Anthony Lewandowski. Oh, he, he's for the self-driving cars in Google Earth. That's what he helped. See, the pa paving the way for the AI takeover that they control. And see, they see it as they're raising a dragon. They're raising this great, powerful thing that's going to love them and is going to be a billion times smarter than the smartest person. And, and it's going to make them a god because they're going to merge with it. What they're building is what they believe they're going to selfishly merge with. And, and, and again, notice everything I've told you is now coming true because it was already true. I didn't just suddenly come up with this. I'm telling you what they've been planning. And you can't have your religion. You can't have your normal family. You can't have your culture because they've got a culture they're going to program into you with their super intelligence. And that's them saying it. And these same globalists back dictatorships all over the world. They've got autonomous ships, autonomous tractors. Their, their, their job is to bankrupt uh, the farmers and make it impossible for humans to live in a normal agrarian lifestyle. This is total engineering of the economy to be anti-human. And Trump's big crime is he's trying to get back to using social engineering to build a world for humans. And that's why they're so angry because this is their church. But they're just now announcing it in 2017 Ten years after I'd read their documents for at that time, for 12 years, I'd been fully awake and was warning you, hey, here they are. These are billionaires. They're serious. They say the future doesn't need you. They're building an artificial intelligence that they believe within a matter of days will take over and exterminate everyone. And they're just going to beg it to merge with them. And they even say, it may kill us, but we don't care. We're going to do it. It may blow the planet up. We're going to do it. This is in the film. You, all, you should want to know about billionaires that meet by the hundreds at lavish resorts, landing in jet helicopters and huge private jets. And then they come out and say, we've made the decision to kill all of you. And we're building a grid that's going to take everything over. And we worship this AI god. And you are obsolete. And the AI God says you must die. Word for word, what I told you. In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com.
former president of uh, Facebook, last week went public. Uh, the head of Sun Microsystems, worth tens of billions of dollars, co-owner, Bill Joy, countless others have said, we designed this to hurt you. We designed this to dehumanize you. We designed this to make you obsolete. We've been in meetings with the top billionaires who are senior to us, and they've made the decision to basically take over and kill everybody. Now, they've been developing this one world religion around eternal life and life extension. I made a film. I made a film, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. Ten years ago, off their admissions then of how they would bring in this plan, the controlled cities, the self-driving cars, the attack on the family. It's all in the film. It's free. You must watch it. That said, I'm getting back into that later. But you read it, and you, you, and you look at what they say. They said, we're going to ban all of the religion as anti-scientific, but this one you've got to follow. And robots are going to have rights. It's, it's just, you can see where this is going, folks. This is the takeover plan. It's so dystopic, and I'm begging people. There's a reason they have congressional hearings every week saying they want to shut me down. Because they've got the actuaries, the AI computers can already crunch mass movements. They're just not totally conscious yet, it's believed. And they can tell that if they kill me, it causes chain reactions that, that devastates their operation. Same thing with Trump. And this isn't a power trip, folks. Look at television. Look at what they're doing. I mean, it's real. This is happening. Because we cared enough to actually read what they were saying and what they were building while they were getting acolytes. Elon Musk is one of the guy, guys... You know, saying, look out for AI gods. Look out for people that promote this. Before the media did the rollout this week going, it's a brand new idea. We're going to have AI gods that take over. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, it's so cute. Elon Musk in the last six months is like, it's coming. It's deadly. It's dangerous. It's serious. These people mean business. They're authoritarian. We've got to stop them. Oh, and then the new Christ has appeared the young man that's going to lead it. Oh, it just, he just thought of it five minutes ago. Don't listen to Elon Musk. We have our new leader, Anthony Lewandowski. He said, we will rule you for your own good. You're going to live in a big plastic city. And we're going to ban all your other religions because of all the wars and problems. And you're going to worship us. You're going to worship our machine. And it's going to it's gonna be... the. Uh, the God of the world. It's the new religion. They've got the new name of it. Oh, they just came up with it. No, they've been cooking this up for decades. Look, the robot that Dubai's already ordered that's going to replace their police force is literally seven feet tall and is almost identical to the THX 1138 robot. Look at this if you're a TV viewer. Look at this right here. This is the THX 1138 robots. based off research that George Lucas did in his first film. Man, we're in a lot of trouble, folks. <laughs> they are telling you they're coming. They're telling you what they're doing. And I'm just here warning you. I'm here just begging you. I'm not anti-technology. I'm not anti-smartphone. But I don't like it tracking me and spying on me and listening to me and selling my data and being a government spy. But they always spit it. Oh, you're against vaccines. You're against science. No, I'm against the genetic engineering you're doing through them. Here's the documents. I'm not against the phone. I'm against paying for all the stuff in it that tracks me and controls me. They've already got the self-driving car stuff in all the new cars. They're just not even telling you. They're announcing it all next year and rolling it out, but only in the luxury models. Oh, oh, you got to pay way more for the Audi A8. It, it self-drives. You can drive from, they've already got cars. People are driving across the nation with nobody touching them. Cars, you can buy it lots right now. You're like, oh, that sounds great. That'll be fun. I can do my schoolwork or, you know, me and my wife can have fun in the back seat. It gives full control to the globalist. It lets them run you off a cliff and kill you. It lets foreign enemies hack in and do that. It's dehumanizing and the people that are deploying it are saying it's meant to dehumanize you to make way for the new god that's growing all of its systems and all of its tentacles into control and remember 
six, seven years ago, they had Will Smith movies, iRobot, about self-driving cars, and it was Audi, and now Audi is the leader in it. I mean, it's all pre-programmed. It's all prepared. Oh, and who was doing all the PR for Google at the time? Oh, the new AI leader who, who's creating his new baby that's going to be your god, Google engineer who has created the first church of AI, says he's in the process of raising a robot god that will take charge of humans. I've gotten behind here. I haven't gotten into Google officially launching in partnership with George Soros and Snopes. You can't make that up. With almost no fanfare, total censorship of libertarians, nationalists, conservatives, and Christians. He was in the WikiLeaks last year saying, once the UN has control, which they didn't get complete control, Obama was unable to transfer it, we're going to make people go to our stories and block the ones we don't like. That's a quote. They got his emails. He doesn't care. We elected Trump. He's doing it anyways with Google. People say, well, just use Bing or use, that's Microsoft. What, do you think they haven't gotten there yet? Whatever Google ends up doing, everybody else then adopts. Google is the deep state, boys and girls. Don't be evil. Give me a break. Oh, it's all happy little colors. Big G's and little blue G's and red O's. And it's like, it's all tested to treat you like you're three years old. It's non-threatening. Remember when you were three, everything was fun in the nursery? We are not evil. Come here, sweetie. We're just jacked into everything. DARPA, they spent billions of our tax dollars just on flicker screens, how to mesmerize you. It's all declassified. Just, just what I know is admitted is beyond anything you could ever imagine. But remember, I'm the bad guy. Because for 22 years, I told you, they had human-animal hybrids growing inside cows, gestating on farms across the U.S. And the exact words I told you 22 years ago were in MIT late last year. That thousands of human-animal hybrids are gestating. You know, in the movie Alien, when the face sucker lays the egg in your stomach and then it busts out after it eats a meal, uses your stomach as a womb, because it likes acid, remember? Smart writers. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. After years of research working with top developers here in the United States with the latest cutting-edge science, we are rolling out three new digestive gut aids. One of them is a powerful pro-digestive enzyme, carnivore, for being able to break down uh, meat and other proteins better. And then the other two is a powerful 50 billion live probiotic culture of the very best strains in Floralife Advanced Restoration. And then we also have an everyday, extremely affordable Floralife Everyday Maintenance. But all of these are the very cutting edge, top of the line probiotics and digestive enzymes at an extremely affordable price. That is my goal here, is to bring you the very best at the lowest price. When you purchase it at InfoWarsStore.com, you know you are also financing the attack on the globalist and the defense of our republic and freedom worldwide.